um, with people that have a little bit of hypermobility on learning to stabilize their hip complex, particularly movements like a single leg rear deadlift or any sort of single leg movement. So I have them stand facing a table, a massage table. Usually that's about the right height. I don't have them get too far away from the wall because my goal is that they learn how to feel when their hips are square and how to feel when their back is straight, not rotated one way or the other. Ground a foot, doesn't matter which, and then hinge forward so that the back foot comes to the wall. When the back foot comes to the wall, I have them check to make sure the toes are pointing straight down. Because their arms are propped up on the table, so it's a little far away from me, they can really start to work on that lower body aspect of things. I have them ground the middle of the left foot, in this case, since my right foot's back. And usually right out here, they start to feel their left glute start to fire. Then I have them really lengthen the left hip if need be to make sure their hips are even. Once they get there, I might have them float the right arm to increase the load on the left leg. I might have them breathe here for a little while and then switch sides. Same thing, floating. Once they get that down, I might have them work on hinge, touch, good movement pattern, sliding the hands to make sure the foot lands straight down each time rather than angling out. Sometimes I might have them plant the foot and start to work on externally rotating back to center. So again, they're working on hip control. They can learn to isolate through the hip rather than rotating in the back. I might have them plant, rotate around back to center. Again, with the goal of keeping the hips stable, the feedback from the wall is really useful. They can start to learn to turn as a unit rather than turning um, with their back. So, again, just some ideas for people who might have a lot of stability or a lot of mobility. Thank you.